That's all this shit. Well, I don't know how many more they're gonna be, but I'll do one more. を Hmm. This was a, oh, this was a dude that that messed him up. We had to um, fight him towards the <laughs> into the original. See, um, Kenshin has the one scar, so that means he's a uh, old Kenshin. He's actually got a goal. <laughs> All right, let's go. No more messing around. I like the old school Kenshin, his hair looks better. Let's 
And that was like the first Kenshin story. The um, the guy who I just fought, he masterminded a uh, thing where Kenshin killed Tomoe's um, brother right before. No, Tomoe's ex, uh, ex not ex husband, fiance. On an assassination mission, and uh, when when he killed the ex, the fiance, his fiance slashed him the first time. Uh, Tomoe, Tomoe was hired to, you know, kind of make him feel good about stuff, and and teach him how to not be a killer anymore. She, he didn't have to, and all this stuff. So every time he was about to jump out there and kill somebody, Tomoe would stop him from doing it. So it's like, oh, okay. But then he found out that Tomoe was an, a spy and all this shit and it fucked his day up. And uh, when he went to confront the mastermind behind all of it, he was all messed up because he was in love with Tomoe and he found out that she was making shit up. <sighs> yep. So he was all messed up when he's trying to fight this guy who's ready to kill his ass. And um, when he finally got his shit together, he was about to slash the shit out of this guy. And Tomoe jumped in the way and then gave him the second cut, the, the second X cut. So, yeah. And obviously, Kenshin won because <clears throat> he wouldn't have made it past anything else, right? Well, so I have the shark guy. I think he's supposed to be black, but, you know, whatever. Who the fuck are these guys? Oh, it's that dude. So, uh, once Tomoe was killed, you know, way up in the future or whatever, this is like the plot of the third movie. Tomoe's brother comes back after he's been trained himself and he's this big dangerous dude and he's really pissed off that Kenshin let his, his sister die, so. Sets up a big plan. <laughs> よし。<笑> Oh, 
Oh, there's a guy in there. That's interesting. Anyway, Alright, let's keep going. Kids will wake up soon. Now that I'm talking, I'll wake up for sure. It's a little, um, weird character design, huh? He's like a guy wearing military fatigue, no undershirt. Dreads. Also, I always like the way they draw dreads where it looks like instead of them coming out of their head, it looks like the head is empty and they're coming out like a bowl of spaghetti, you know? It's like, um, where did the dreads start? The way that you're drawing them, it's like they start like right where the guy's eyes end, like right at the bottom of the, uh, Headband, it looks really weird. Also, the crisscross hatching pattern of the dreads is a little, little awkward. Um, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Japanese artists don't know how to draw black things. <laughs> It was made him a white guy with, with anime, with uh, black dude hair. Are you a Rastafarian? Anyway. Let's go. Oops. 
Could do more, but why? This sword is way too unfair, by the way. The only thing that sucks is that because you're not doing any special you don't get any uh, power things. See what I mean? Pretty cool character though, for real. Apparently there's a guy named Steven Foster who's legendarily known for messing up everybody's uh dubs on uh, anime. When they do the voiceovers, Steven Foster lets people do whatever they want. Yeah. So, so he'll like just say screw it, kind of like they did in kung fu movies, where they would just play the movie and then make up the script as they go along. They literally had a guy in the, um, the booth with them slapping, slapping uh, sticks together and stuff to make the punching and kicking noises. So they would just be like, psh, psh, like that, you know? So apparently, um, he, he's really well known for taking dubs and turning, or taking actual properties that have been sold to them and then taking the dub and then turning it into some sort of art project. Yeah, so he made this one um, anime called Ghost, or he didn't make it, he made a dub that that he turned into this huge uh, racist thing, he just let the voice actors say whatever popped into their head. But the uh, actual cartoon was really boring and nobody wanted it, wanted to look at it like failed in Japan and then they sent it out to um, 
They tried to shop around to see who would want to buy it and uh, make some money off it in the West. So when they bought it, the last ditch effort, bought it and they decided to do some crazy dub over it to make it more interesting. And it, yeah, and it worked. And everybody kind of likes how off the rails the damn thing goes. And uh, it's so bad that the uh, Japanese people bought the rights back so that they could be like, yeah, we made that anime. Dude, keep showing up. Looking like cheerleaders and shit. Wonder if they wear that to school. I know Vanessa got in trouble that one time. I'm always a little disappointed when this kid shows up. <laughs> just like, uh, we still give him a chance. Is he a fan favorite or something, or are they just tired of, uh, Karu's teaching is going to waste. He's like supposed to be a successor of this style and they don't give him any skills. Seriously, I'm pretty pissed off that the super move is just hitting people on the on the head like kabong. This dude's hairstyle is pretty cute though. The the bead in the front really does it for me. <laughs> I wonder if I can get the um, Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. <laughs> See, the thing I don't like about this game is that it doesn't let you clear, clear um, areas that well. Like, I want to be able to run as, as a swordsman here. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, boo. That sucks. I mean, because he's so short, they should have balanced him out by giving him, you know, better better ground coverage techniques, you know what I mean? But they didn't. I'm so disappointed in that. I mean Kaoru has a longer reach with her with her stick, her sword thing. So this kid has a smaller sword smaller legs like give him the ability to run I mean same thing with Kenshin they, they really kind of like screwed the pooch on that because when I want to be aggressive and I want to close areas all they do is kind of jump forward and uh, it, it really kills their the um, shorter smaller guys abilities to, to hurt people so then being a long-range zoner is like the best thing to be in this game it's why Zanza is like really overpowered because he's got the long reach with the sword and like no no drawbacks so you could learn super moves and stuff if you want you could let Zanza get rid of the sword and fight with the hands but on the real like that sword really like it covers most of the damn screen and nobody can catch up to you unless they're really fast and even then, the punishes are, are real. And I've been I've been eating these whiff punishes like over and over again just because I can't get close enough. I'd like to see somebody better than me figure out how to handle that fucking kid. He is he is low tier, like the lowest of the low. <laughs> Yeah, 
And he's got the little powerful move. See, he's got throwing projectiles and shit. And he has lightning. And he has lightning. What, what, what is that fucking move? I mean, I know you wa really want to uh, tell a story, but goodness. Look, how are you going to make him miss on the... Um... Well... I mean, at least his hits are for real, though. Like, every time he spikes somebody, it makes that noise, like... Fail. He traded blows on that one. See, I mean, I'll get my shit together on the next one because this game isn't unfairly hard like a lot of games that I play. But it's just like if if you had anybody else, you'd be able to clear, clear, clean this guy's clock. Irritating. Combo on that, huh? That's pretty lame. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Alright. That's one down. Yeah. Hitting somebody in the top of the head. Hitting somebody in the top of the head, but talking at the same time is a super move. Don't piss me off! <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucked up if they screamed it in the, uh, in the English? I mean, it only is cool when they scream it in Japanese, but I imagine if you're Japanese and scream screaming the words doesn't make that much sense, you know what I mean? Uh, then the person really does scream, like, hit you on the top of the head! Head! You know? So... I wonder if, uh, in Japanese, they have them scream, they have them scream, like, English or German, most likely German. Be like, head crush, pop you upside the head. Excuse me, sir. Got some gnarly chest hairs there. The medium is the sky one. Seems that after you get the um this one done, you you can wrong click them a little bit, right? And fail. Just waiting for my turn. Okay, well, that's fair. Game kind of makes me want to get a hold of the Samurai Showdown. That game was pretty dope but then nobody's talking about it for a while, like the newest one. Yeah. 
And, you know, he's like, he's probably like, you shouldn't be messing around with my friends. And then he's like, why don't you shut up, you little snot? Because, you know, if he's, if he's gay, if he's flamboyantly gay or trans or whatever, in anime, the moment they get pissed off, all of a sudden they break character, which makes it really, like, offensive. Like, <laughs> which... <laughs> It makes you wonder if, uh, you know, real gay people break character like that, too, where they're like, oh my god, like, what's going on here? And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, listen to me, you little punk. I can take you any time of the day. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Like, you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, there are certain accents that people just put on and they follow you all over the United States. Like, the Valley... The valley accent, the gay accent, you know, the little sweet talking thing, and 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 I'm being really stereotypical, and the um, the redneck accent, you know, you go anywhere in the world and find that redneck accent, you know. They from the country, not down south, but we from the north, you know, from Alaska, man. Also, the same same shit where it's like, oh my god, like, for real? Like, we think that this accent's from California, but my damn daughter starts using this accent out of nowhere, and it gets annoying. You know? So, somebody comes through, and he's like, oh my god, like, for real? It's time for me to slice your throat. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay. And then all of a sudden, they get mad, and then they're like, listen, motherfucker. <laughs> You mess with me like this, you're gonna die, you know? Are we being Supergirl today? Yeah. No. No? Supergirl with pig socks? No, picking up Sammy. Yes, we are picking up Sammy today. <laughs>